Hey everyone, it's Nighthawk. Today we're coming at you with the final Extreme Solo Atrax video with Jinx. Uh, the reason that this is the final Extreme Solo Atrax video and probably the final Swarm video is that Swarm is coming to a clan end. It, uh, it's ending August 19th at midnight, so August 20th. Um, if you didn't know Swarm is ending, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. The event is ending and, and Riot has not continued Swarm as a permanent game mode. Not that we really expected them to this early, but um, hopefully everyone's enthusiastic support of Swarm will make them consider bringing it back as a, maybe if not permanent, maybe another uh, event game mode in the future. So one thing I encourage everyone to do is if you do like Swarm, um, just make it known to Riot. Share your feedback. If you got any surveys, be like, hey, I'm excited about Swarm. This is a game I want to see more content for. Um, and if you don't get any surveys, just post it on Reddit, social media. Just say like, hey, we need more Swarm content. Because Riot gets all of their ideas for games. Or sorry, all of their ideas for their planning games uh, from the community. Like they will want to support what the community wants to play. So if you make it known that you like Swarm, maybe they'll bring it back. Um, I personally love Swarm. That's why I've been making so many videos for it. It's pretty much the... If not the best, one of the best games in the survivor-like genre. Uh, the best that I've played, I think it brings a lot of cool things to the table with the active abilities and just the league cast is just a, such a rich and interesting cast to play with. Uh, I think it's very obvious that there's a lot to use with this cast and hopefully we can see an expanded cast in the future with more champions, more weapons, more maps, stuff like that. Um, the reason I wanted to make this video, uh, and I wanted to make more of these videos, I actually promised a few more, but as always, life gets in the way, and I kind of just got really busy, didn't really have time to dedicate a few hours to sitting down and recording one of these videos, but I wanted to sit down with you guys today and, and make this video to really kind of go over what the future of this channel may look like. Um, so we're going to do that while we play this game with Chinks, and hopefully we don't die. <laughs> Because that would be uh, a waste of my time because I'd have to re-record the video. So we're going to do our best not to die. Which is why we're going safe stuff like armor and max health. <laughs> um, do we need anything else? Crit maybe? I don't really want damage. Yeah, I think we'll hold off for crit. The battle bunny crossbow. Get in the box. There we go. Um... So yeah, one of the things that I wanted to talk about with you guys, and I, I posted a community poll about this, so you may have already seen something about it, but um, since Swarm is going away and you really can't make YouTube videos for a game that's not there anymore, um, I wanted to talk about... Ugh. Jaggernaut, I guess? Yeah, Jaggernaut. Let's go survivability. I wanted to talk about maybe pivoting the channel away from Swarm content. Um, doing some more survivor-like games, games like Deep, Deep Rock Galactic Survivors. Um, there's a lot of indie games right now for this genre. A lot of them. I think it's just because it's very easy for indie developers to get into. It's sort of a very approachable game genre. So maybe trying out new games and reviewing them for the channel. If that's something that people are interested in, I, I'm willing to give it a shot. Um, it may end up just being that I stop making YouTube videos. Uh, I never really intended this to be a regular thing anyway. It was kind of just something I was excited about doing for the, the time being. Um, and it ended up being a little bit more popular than I was expecting. So I'm definitely willing to take another step and, and give it another shot with different games. But I definitely don't really blame anyone if they were only really here just to watch Swarm. Um, that's sort of how I am with YouTube channels. I, I don't really like when YouTubers swap away from their main game, but for this, for this, I don't really have much of a choice. So it's either different games or kind of just go and hibernate until maybe Swarm comes back and then, uh, try to make more Swarm content then. So if, if it's something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments, um, or maybe just watch the next video I put out. I'll probably be putting out. Um, something fairly soon. What do I want last? I want crit still. I don't have crit yet. I'm running out of rerolls. 
Uh, yeah, I'll hopefully have something out fairly soon. I haven't really looked at many games yet. There's one that looks really good called Nova Drift. Um, it actually looks really interesting. It's totally different from Swarm, but it is still survivor, survivor like, which is what they call this genre where you kind of just like move around and shoot things and get upgrades. Um, and I think it looks really good. It, it looks really cool. It's like a sp space invaders kind of game. It's hard to describe. If you're interested, check it out. I think it's on Steam right now. It has overwhelmingly positive reviews from like 10,000 people. So definitely not something that is like super niche. So I think if you like Swarm, you may like that. And honestly, if you like Swarm and you haven't played the OG, the, the granddaddy of Swarm games, uh, Vampire Survivors, go check that out. Vampire Survivors probably will always be one of the best survivor-like games of all time. Um, I think it's still being updated. It's still really, really good. It still holds up. Uh, the graphics are not great, if that turns you off. It's sort of like retro 8-bit style graphics, but I think once you get playing it, you'll get used to it pretty quickly and it won't really bother you anymore. And I think it's a lot more in-depth than regular Swarm. Um, maybe not quite as mechanical, with like the abilities and stuff, but I think the weapons are a little bit more interesting. There's a lot more of them. Uh, there's a lot more characters. So if that's something that you're interested in, check it out. I think it's really fun. I've played hundreds of hours of Vampire Survivors over time. So definitely a big recommend from me. Hard not to, hard to imagine that most people here haven't played it if you do like Swarm, but I've been, I've been surprised before. There are, a lot of people who really don't branch out of the uh, the league ecosystem for their games. So definitely not. Uh, wouldn't be surprising to me if you've never played another type of survivor-like game. Um, other than Vampire Survivors and Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, there are two really popular ones called uh, Death Must Die and like 12 Seconds to Midnight or something like that. Or 12 Minutes to Midnight. Something in that vein. Uh, I've played those a little bit. I like them. They didn't really grasp me as much as Swarm did or Vampire Survivors did. But I think that they're really good games. It's just I kind of got sick of the genre at that point. I played so much. Um, which is something that I was kind of expecting to happen with Swarm. And it kind of has. But I'm still <laughs> kind of enjoying Swarm. Like I'm having fun right now playing this even though this is... Uh, I'll check after the game, but I'm pretty sure this is like my 300th game or something crazy like that. Uh, especially if you count all my PvE games. I played like 200 games on PvE, so we're definitely up there in terms of the, uh, the amount of games I've played of this. Probably more than most people. Maybe not the most of all everyone, but I think I'm up there. I'd love to see like a leaderboard or something. Um... Something else I've been up to, I, I wanted to mention this earlier in the video, but I, I kind of forgot. Uh, I said that I was going to put out a Jinx clear earlier, and I really, really wanted to, but there ended up being a Swarm tournament, if you can believe it. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about that in a second. Um, so basically, I had to get to 100 anima power to be able to compete in the tournament, and... I basically just grinded games for like a few hours. I wasn't that far off, but I, I grinded a few hours of games just to make sure I was at peak performance. Uh, me and my duo, it was a duo tournament. Uh, we ended up getting third place. We were like two points off second place. And the only reason we lost was that we had two really bad deaths on subterrain map. Um, it was a system where the point system was like, it was calculated uh, spring pays a little late. Ebb and flow, I guess. The way the system was calculated is that it would give you points for three different categories. One, how fast you killed the boss. So it was a DPS check. Two was uh, how many minion kills you got. So it was a DPS check plus an AoE check. And three, you had a penalty which ended up also being a uh, bonus for death. So the more you died, the less points it was worth. Like you would you would lose points. And we ended up getting 
three deaths on Belveth. Uh, two of them were really stupid. We just died to frogs in a bad spot. We were like hugging walls and frogs spawned on us and we died. Uh, the last one was basically unavoidable. It was like a Belveth kill and we just didn't have high damage. Uh, another thing that I was really interested about the tournament was the way that it was formatted was it was fearless draft, which if you don't know what that is, it basically means you can only pick a champion once. So if you picked Riven on one map, you couldn't pick Riven again on another map. And that went for both players. So if we had to pay through basically all of the different champions, except for Aurora, <laughs> that's the only one we didn't play, um, on all the different maps. So we had to like save certain champions for certain maps and it ended up making our team comps a little bit less good than generally you would want, which is part of the reason we died. I think our team comp for um, Subterrain was Leona uh, Jinx. I kind of forgot exactly what it was, but it was it was a group of champions that I wasn't super comfortable with. Um, I don't play a ton of Leona. Uh, let me make sure I don't die here. Um, I don't play a super ton of Leona. And I don't think my duo played a ton of the champion he was playing either. So we had two unfortunate deaths, which cost us an insane amount of points. It was like 100 points out of... And the totals were only like 400. So we lost like 20% of our points just off that one map. Um, and the way that it worked was that since the other team, the other teams, there was a few of them, um, didn't die at all on that map. They got a huge bonus to their points. Um, the math was a little bit weird so that it wasn't meant to be a bonus, but since it was like based off the average deaths, it, since we had a much higher average than they did, they got like bonuses to their points on top of our detriment. So that like, even though we had won in every single category by far for like the rest of the, the tournament, that, uh, that one map put us behind pretty heavily. So we ended up getting, and all of this to say, we ended up getting third, um, which is a little unfortunate. We would have easily gotten first if we didn't have those deaths. I uh, calculated the, the point totals and we were like way ahead of everyone else. Uh, but it is what it is. It was fun. I honestly just did it for fun. Uh, there was like a small cash prize and then we get like free RP and an Anima Squad grab bag, which I think is like a t-shirt and stuff. So um maybe i'll show you guys what that stuff is when it actually comes i haven't gotten it yet and i have no idea when i'm gonna get it it's probably gonna be a while <laughs> um so i just wanted to say that that's one of the reasons why i haven't really made any videos for a few days uh, i was working a lot on that making that tournament happen because i uh i wasn't an organizer but i was heavily promoting it to people um, because I was worried there just weren't be enough people interested. It didn't have a ton of entrance until last second. Um, other than that, ooh, kind of wanted to be wearing, but I don't have any speed. Other than that, uh, I've just been up to work and life and stuff. Life comes at you fast sometimes, and you can't always finish your plans. Um, YouTube goes on the back burner most of the time, just because it's a hobby for me. But. I've enjoyed it a lot so far, so I'm happy to be back making this last video for you guys for Swarm. And hopefully maybe we can make some more videos for some other games coming up. Uh, sorry to make this sort of like a vlog video, but for Swarm at this point, I can kind of just play it not in my sleep. Oh man, I don't really have any options, so I guess I just go Static Sword. I can kind of just play it in my sleep at this point. Um, that's not a brag. Like, I'm not, like, good at the game, but it doesn't really require a lot of my attention anymore. Um, until we get to Aatrox, at least. <laughs> and I hope I'm not, like, playing... I'm definitely playing suboptimally, but hopefully it's not terrible. So, yeah, uh, sorry to make it sort of like a story time vlog, but I thought this might be the best format to really 
communicate what's been going on and what I'm what I'm thinking about for the future with you guys. Um, I don't think many people are really watching Swarm content anymore on YouTube. I know the views have dropped off pretty heavily, but I'm still kind of interested in trying out YouTube and having fun with it. Making making videos is fun. It's hard work. Um, I make it hard work for myself. If I wasn't so obsessed with production value, I probably wouldn't take so long making each video, but there's a lot of like little things that go into it to oh, these frogs make it really hard to get this laser. There we go. Oh, a little late for card collector, buddy. Man, these are all not good. I think I still go card collector. Celebration is going to be useless. Um, yeah, if I wasn't so obsessed with like making everything not perfect, but as good as I can make it without spending an unreasonable amount of time, it probably would be a lot faster and easier, <laughs> which tends to be what most YouTubers do, um, no shade, but a lot of the other swarm YouTubers that I saw, um, were kind of just like cutting together stream videos and just putting it out. And I mean, like, that's fine if that's what you want to do. It's just not really my style of content. I think it's a little, it's not very fun for me to watch. So I don't want to put that kind of video out, at least if I can help it. Sometimes that's just what you got to do. Um, but I don't think many people are really making swarm videos anymore. I think I kind of tried to keep track of who was making content, just seeing what people were watching. And there were like, a few big ones. Um, Pansar Dragon was one of them. Not a fan of that guy. Uh, not for his content necessarily, just his uh, personality and his controversies throw me off pretty hard. Uh, if you're interested in that, just Google Pansar Dragon controversy. I'm sure you can find plenty of stuff about that. Um, there's a few others. Emotional, I actually kind of like his content. Uh, I don't think he makes much anymore, but he had a lot of really cool like, tier list videos starting out. Um, I think he w put a lot of work into them, and I was inspired by that. Um, Dex something. There's one other YouTuber who made a decent amount of Swarm content. He was a cool dude. Seemed like he put a lot of effort into his videos. I liked his originality. Um... But I don't think it, many of them are like making stuff for this anymore because I think most people have just kind of fallen off the wagon for it, which makes sense. Uh, I need to pick up these cards before I uh, get teleported. I want to at least get Uwu. Man, I sort of just autopiloted through this game. <laughs> we'll save one card just in case we can evolve. Um, uh, we can evolve uh, Static Sword, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's pretty late to get it. It's not really going to matter. Static Sword evolution is not going to make much of a difference versus Aatrox. Yeah, I don't even think we can get it to 5 by then. We'll see. We can pick up a little bit of XP out here. All right. Hopefully I don't die to Aatrox. Uh, if I do, I still may upload this video because I really don't want to go over and say everything I just said again, even though I rambled. <laughs> that would just be a lot of effort for me. I forget what I say most of the time, so I'd have to like make notes. So hopefully this is a clear. If not, it's still going to be uh, a video. One of the things I was really happy with, are Aatrox clear? was like in the tournament was miles ahead of everybody else we we had such a fast clear that we skipped both chains like both ter um the chains that pull you in we had the mandatory one like the one that pulls you in here but we skipped the one here that i just got pulled by and we skipped the one in the second phase too that's how fast our clear was i think it was like 30 seconds ahead of the next fastest team which was crazy. Like, nobody had had that fast of a time for Aatrox in the tournament. Um, so I was really happy with that. I thought that was cool. It's one of the reasons why I was really not that upset by our third place performance. We had a really strong finish. We ended up in the finals with no deaths. Um, and I think the other teams all died. So it was pretty, uh, 
pretty cool to see that. Um, that's interesting. When you walk out of range with Jinx, it just stops firing. It's kind of annoying if you're on auto target. I can't really get close to him right now. I need him to get... Yeah, there we go. Get him out of that corner. All right. Finishing up strong. We want a pretty safe build. Nothing crazy here. But I just wanted a nice, quick, safe video to uh, upload and say, like, hey, thanks so much to everyone for watching the Swarm content. I really never expected to get this much views. Uh, I was super happy to see everyone who came by and said hi. We have a few people who stopped by for every video. Love you guys. Appreciate it so much. Really cool to see people who, who are positive and interacting with the community. Um, let's see. I want to see how many games we have total. This was just a, uh, a farewell to Swarm. Uh, a triumphant send-off for everyone who stuck with us so far. And maybe the next chapter will be even more interesting. We'll see. So, if this ever loads. There we go. Finally. League Clan, am I right? Oh, you know what? I didn't have as many games as I thought. We only have 130 games on live. Uh, I know that's on top of like 200 on PBE. So, I guess... I wonder if that only counts extreme. I don't think it does. I think it counts everything. Anyway, all this was just to say like, hey, thank you so much for watching. Swarm was so much fun. I really appreciate everyone who stuck by. We got Swarm Conquer. I don't know if I showed you guys that. Uh, right there, Swarm Conquer. Finished every objective. Played through all of the maps. Beat everyone on extreme. I had so much fun. It was really fun sharing it with you guys. and. Hey, if you like this kind of thing and you're interested in, in more Swarm, not sorry, not more Swarm, more Survivor games in the future, um, stick around the channel. It might be interesting. If not, thank you so much for joining this journey with me. I really appreciate everyone who came by and subscribed, liked each video, commented. It was really cool to hang out with you guys for this really short event. And please, please, please let Riot know you liked Swarm. We want more Swarm content. And I really want them to be like, hey, we need to do this again. And quickly, hopefully. So thank you so much for watching and enjoy your last game of Swarm while you can. Remember, August 20th is the last day to play. Get your games in before then. Peace out.